and to welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there. For the Grixis League, we have another donation deck here for the Grixis League again. We played this a few weeks ago, um, and it went pretty well, and there's been some, some updates to it uh, here, but... Basically, what we have here, by calling it the Grixis League, we have just a Grixis control deck that's really built around all the different Planeswalkers. As you can see, our main deck has uh, six different Planeswalkers. In, if you don't count Nicol Bolas the Arisen, the back half of Nicol Bolas the Ravager, then that's seven. Um, so yeah, we're just, we're just being a control deck trying to get all these uh, different Planeswalkers out, kill all of our opponent's creatures have Sarkin uh, turn our Planeswalkers into creatures and finish the game off that way. We have Dovin Hand of Control that slows down our opponent. Um, we also have like the four copies of these six mana um, Planeswalkers that are really, really powerful with Liliana and Ugin as well. Our curve is pretty high just kind of in general. We have a, a lot of fives and a lot of sixes, but we do have 26 lands in here. Um, a couple of things I noticed right away. Uh, well, one, we're, we're main decking Elder Spell over here, which really isn't that bad of an idea with all the Planeswalkers running around. But hope, like the the hope with Elder Spell that even if we're playing against an opponent that doesn't have uh, Planeswalkers, that we can get rid of things like Narset and Dovin after a little while and just tr try to, uh, even if we Elder Spell our own Planeswalkers, try to ultimate the Nicol Bolas Dragon God to kill our opponent with that minus eight. Um, did notice that we don't really have any sweepers in here in the main deck. There's just two Ritual of Soot in the sideboard. I'm worried about that. And I'm also kind of worried that we don't have Thought Erasures at all. Um, I feel like we, we may want Thought Erasures in this deck because of just how powerful that card is. Uh, but we're going to play it as submitted here. So let's give it a try. So we have the Grixis League. Let's see how it plays. We'll go over to the traditional constructed queue. Not sure exactly where I'd throw in Thought Erasures, but I, I think we, we want four of them to start with. Um. <clears throat> But let's see how all these Planeswalkers work together. We're basically, I think we're kind of hoping not to play against aggro. Since we don't have the sweepers really in the main deck. Yeah, it could be Thought Razor instead of Discovery. Like, the three Discovery and one of the two Kef Nets. That's where I was kind of looking. I don't know if we need both Kef Nets. In here, since we do, since we have so many planeswalkers and not a whole lot of instants and sorceries. All right, we're gonna keep this and hopefully draw some lands. We're going to need two black sources now for our lands to draw. Ooh, Tenth District Legionnaire. I like that card. I think we don't have enough good Boro stuff. Wish they would have made a good Boros Planeswalker instead of making, you know, more good to fairies and everything in the previous set. More good to fairies, more good Vivian. It'd been cool to have a have a little bit more Boros in the meta game. Oh, it's a big Vindicator. That's gonna hurt. Ow. Ow. <laughs> yeah, the Nahiri 
is not that was not a good Boros Planeswalker. I mean, Boros is all about attacking and everything, and Nahiri not so good there. Just dealing damage to it, a, a tapped creatures and reducing equipment costs. It's like when you look at all of the blue three mana walkers with Narset and obviously Teferi, but then even Sahili. And then compare it to to something like that. We reached a hundred thumbnails so far. Awesome. Well we were real fortunate there getting we did draw two mana and they were both black. We get to resolve Dragon God. Bow before Nicole Bolas. Another time, planes walk. Let your weak minds crumble. Giving first strike to your creatures is decent. That's true. Thank you, Yed. But a drop of power. And uh, unfortunately, our opponent is very dead. My schemes have been foiled. My intellect is without limit. I am ancient and one. Secrets manifest before you. <laughs> oh yeah, blue got Kasmina as well. Good point, yeah, I forgot about Kasmina even. Unfortunately, our opponent is playing a little bit of an underpowered deck here. And uh, Nicol Bolas, Dragon God. Like, Grixis can be pretty mean. I outsmarted you eons ago. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. You will feel the lick of my flag. This doesn't mean we're going to win the match, though. It's just we're just because we're winning this game by miles doesn't mean we're going to be winning the match. So I could ultimate nickel. Oh no, they have the legendary creature. I was gonna say I could play this Nicol Bolas and Elder Spell my other two planeswalkers, putting four loyalty on this and then winning that way. Last turn I couldn't last turn. I didn't have like because because I couldn't, like, I'll, you can't have these two Planeswalkers in play at the same time. I couldn't last turn. I need to have Sark and Andugan in play. Oh, yeah, I, I could just listen to them roar. kill this Tajik in, in a lot of different ways. I'm going to let them I kill Nicol Bolas. That's fair. That's fair. Look to the sky. We won't block. That bolus did a lot to them. It's only fair they get to kill it. All right, let's go uh, Moment of Craving and Ritual of Soot. Hmm. So Elder Spell can come on out, and I think I want Ugin out or Sarkin out. So that's 63. Yeah, I'm going to keep Liliana with like Liliana's minus. I'll get rid of Ugin. 
And what's our last card to take out? Take out one of the three Ascantas on the draw. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, they 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 deserve that. They they should be able to kill the Nicobolus there. That was fair. All right, let's get this Angel Command deck up on YouTube. Yeah, I could have Vincent. We were also, yeah, so could have blocked Tajik because he doesn't have first strike and then Elder Spell win the game. Yep. We were also just attacking for lethal as well. So basically went with a line where our opponent, um, you know, just finished. Like I went with the quickest line where I didn't play anything else. Just let that happen and then plus Soren and attack them back. I mean, they're at eight, so. But yeah, that was also it. Yeah, I wanted to let my opponent feel a little bit of accomplishment there, killing the Nickel Bullets and everything. Give him that one. So the worst part, so basically keeping our hand because of turn two discovery, the worst part about our hand, though, is not having black mana for cards like that. Knowing getting rid of that interplanar beacon where that could help us cast the dragon god, but I, I need to be able to cast Moment of Craving and Nicol Bolas the Ravager and all those kind of cards. Hey, James. Ow. All right, there we go. So this is definitely risky if they have a any kind of instant speed interaction, they blow out the moment of craving. But yeah, I wasn't really expecting that to be the case. The safer play there was the cast down. Didn't think we need to go safe, though. Oh, you want to see the Elder Spell win? Uh -huh. Yeah, so I could have either blocked Tajik or just minus Dugan, either one of those two things to get rid of it, and then Elder Spell. I don't know if there is any kind of... Um, I've never... I guess somebody's Elder Spell won. No. I guess, no, so yeah, there wouldn't be... It would just be the Nicol Bolas... It would just be the Nicol Bolas Ultimate for the win. Elder, Elder Spell doesn't actually... Is it the card that wins? It's the Bolas Ultimate, and there is... We did that the other day. There's no animation for Bolus Ultimate. Anyway, A Trent with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Getting those hype boats in there. Thank you very much, Trent. What kind of card would you print to push Boros a little bit? Uh, well, if they had like a, a reasonable three mana Planeswalker. Maybe, um, or, you know, even a four mana Planeswalker. But, you know, if they had, like, a, if there was a good Boros Planeswalker, like, if, for example, if, like, Kuatli cost four instead of five mana kind of thing, or if, I just want to play another Ravager. Yeah, I just want to play this. Um, you know, they need they need card advantage. They need resiliency. 
something that the Boros doesn't really have too much. Maybe like a the kind of planeswalker like uh, Gideon Ally of Zendikar kind of thing, like a four mana planeswalker that would make two twos and do something else uh, kind of thing. Um, maybe a maybe a planeswalker like that. I'm just kind of play it nice and easy here. Just kill the true I fire captain. Again, so, if they want to kill Dragon God, they need to attack both creatures into it. Which would mean I would get to block one of the two. And so they'd only be left with one creature left, you know, left with one creature here. And then if we draw a land, we can flip Ravager into the Arisen and, and grab Dragon God back again. No, no, no chance the Ravager will get reprinted and be in standard after after rotation. Zero chance. Now I didn't go Kefnet and dive down because I was considering just flipping Ravager this next turn, and then I wanted to be able to bring back this Dragon God, but we didn't get that land to flip, so we'll have. Kefnet cast down this turn. At this point, Kefnet cast down last turn would have been a a good a good line too. At this, it it's not too important what line you take right now. One and O. Oh. <clears throat> Grixis League. Starting off the league well. <laughs> I actually like that Momir event. And we'll probably play... A little bit of that to end the stream tonight. Because, yeah, I need to get to the seven wins as well to unlock that Jace. Or, sorry, the 15 wins to unlock the Jace. I've won five so far, so I need ten more wins. Uh, my... Yeah, my main, the Momir strat that I've been using is mostly wait till like four before starting to activate. Um, three, you know, hopefully have a Planeswalker on three to play. But I guess maybe three, if especially if my opponent's already activated. If they haven't activated yet, maybe not three, but it's it's usually been three. I really want to shock. We don't really need double red next turn for anything. There's not like a three mana double red card. Alright. 
I've never activated on on two. I have practiced to get the never mind. I did activate on two action. one time whenever my opponent went activate on one, activate on two. And then I, and I was on the draw. Then I felt like I should activate on two. All right, so just guy planeswalker deck. Battle of Planeswalkers. Like, trying to wait till get to, like, 7 and 8. 8 has been, like, the one I've had the most success with of getting to 8 mana and activating on 8 mana the rest of the game. Hitting things like Jassath and the, the white elder dinosaur. Uh, Zatalpa. Jassath and Zatalpa. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got time. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. No, I don't think... So question is, is there any negative impact of Sarkin turning planeswalkers into red creatures? Who are you to call and I don't I don't think there is in standard. I, I, whoa. Arrived. Oh right. Little Teferi. We can't. Right. Little Teferi, we can't cast down that. Um no, I, I don't think there's any any downside to making red planeswalkers. Do I Dragon God minus on the Sarkin? No, the, the question is specifically red. Like, there's removal spells for creatures, of course, that you can play that then kill your Planeswalkers. In my I was gonna just do this. Bounce that draw card. That's actually probably better. You're all so generous. Drawing cards is nice. Why does Angrath totally disappear Our from Grixis' list? Basically because, yeah, there's only so many 5-mana cards you can play, and Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, and Enter the God Eternals are just really vital cards to be playing. Oh, this is, this is rough. But... It's it's certainly not a bad card. It's not it's not that Angrath got worse with a lot of planeswalkers around. It's it's actually it's gotten better even. But I don't know if it's it's like something you can really play too much of though. Now with getting that other dragon out of there, we can kill Sarkin and hopefully untap with Ugin. <clears throat> we'll see if they have either a removal spell or another Sarkin. Hopefully not. And this is 
the unfortunate part of you know drawing the cast down and then to the god eternals right now in this matchup that's why burn spells are just so great they're just always versatile here goes nothing they can kill creatures kill planeswalkers kill opponents burn spells very versatile Yeah, Angrath and Jun super no friends. Yeah, that's a good lock. spot for Angrath Maybe for sure. Will hold. No, I am not making this up as I go. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. This tech gimmick is worth it. We definitely had a really strong hand. GG. Good hand, good hand. Let's get... Uh, I don't even know if we won all these negates, honestly, because of Teferi. But we definitely do not want these cast downs or into the God Eternals. Oh yeah, we're playing a bunch of Elder Spells main. That's pretty nice. Don't need Dovin. All right, I guess we're going with this. That looks pretty good. Oh, that's 61. Never mind. Not not looking good. Um Hmm. Get rid of a Dreadhorde General. I don't really have a lot of creatures for us to, to have them sacrifice. Yeah, I I'm not protecting myself against War Boss basically at all. It's true. I mean, I do need land. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna keep it. I'm gonna need land. I've never named a land with ego before. Um, I would assume this deck would would want unmoored ego against. Like normally, whenever I play a Mord Ego in decks, it's against like uh, Command the Dreadhorde in the four color command deck, uh, Arclight Phoenix, and Wildness Reclamation slash Nexus of Fate. Well, here's the moment of truth. Yay, no war boss. There are so many in your prowess. Uh. All those lands. We need all of them. If you do name a land with Unmoored Ego and they have a bunch of those lands in hand, even though you get to exile them, remember I know my responsibility. they do get 
I'll protect you. They do get to redraw for for each one. Just have to have Dobin's veto here, right? I wish I could just hold up negate also. I wish I could just play the rampage. I'm still going to do that. Don't really want Kasmina countered that easily. Keep an open mind. Another veto and a spell pierce. Trust me, I have a plan. We can play around Spell Pierce. As long as we draw some more lands, that is. Evil must not be tolerated. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. I've got time. Their last card was a third veto. It's unfortunate. Overwhelming. Want to get some more ca loyalty counters on the Narset? Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Cannot withstand a righteous heart. I train every day. I have just the trick oh. for this. Narset's brutal against Kasmina too. You don't get to draw the other card, but you still have to discard a card. So like if you play Kasmina and Minus, you just have to discard a card with a Narset in play. Very brutal. Hey Storm, welcome back. You may regret that choice. Basically just letting letting Kasmina get countered to get one of the spell pierces out of their hand. Meditate and prepare. This might be a bad idea.
Go, Kefnat, go. That was a great draw. I fight with a dragon's rage. Oh, that's lethal. Let's try this. Good choice. All they need to do is just take up Sarka and an attack, and it's lethal. I don't really know what they're waiting for. They are coming. Yeah, that that third veto really was a killer on the elder the elder spell. When we didn't know one card in their hand and it was that veto. Yuck. Alright, one and one. One and one. All right, nice opener. Yeah, Little Teferi not letting us cast instants. Both games one and two really hurt us. The game one, we couldn't cast down on their, their turn and then untap and bowl us. Um, yeah, we need another Black Source, so let's just take all these. not too surprising but that little teferi just wrecked us both those games of course then the second game we couldn't ever <clears throat> um could never use our negates or other negate at least Keeping the two lander and Espa Hero. All right, just kind of, kind of doing the Dovin's veto check there. Put thoughtfulness before action. Ephil with the Twitch Prime sub, welcome to the channel. Thanks, two months in a row there. Thanks, Ephil. Thanks for that resub there. We are three away from a sub goal now, and we're only two sub goals away from doing another sub battle stream. We're at 18 out of 20 sub goals for that right now. <laughs> Done lurking? Ah. Uh. Well, thank you. All right, so Esper Hero. Um, I'm not going to play Negates. So that against like last time, like Little Teferi negates her. Don't go too well. We do need to be able to kill Thief of Sandy and Hero Precinct 1 and stuff like that. So I want Duress. And that's kind of it. And taking out Enter the God Eternals and Sarkin. Sarkin seems kind of weak against these little Teferis that just bounce the token. Oh, wait, we got Dovins. Get rid of Dovins. Narset back in. Sarkin back in. And I guess Dovin's good against Thief of Sanity. All right, we'll keep, in, we'll keep in a Dovin. Actually, I think I'll play that instead of a moment or a ritual of set. Also, makes making their spells cost a little bit more. Could be beneficial.
down to five cards. I don't even feel like it makes sense to duress only a four card hand. Like they could just not really have spells. They just have like a couple lands and a hero precinct one and stuff. The most important thing for me to hit with a duress would be like a, a Teferi, the five mana Teferi. So might as well give them some more draw steps towards that. Sorry I'm late. That's more like it. to surrender now. Hone your prowess. I've got it. I know Aiden to keep an open mind. All right, now this will be the turn that we want to duress. This is where they could play the five mana to fairy. I do kind of want to just play this nickel bolus, though. See what else we get. Just the trick for this. I don't really need a cast down. All right. Discovery doesn't actually do anything. Let me just surveil too. I was about to cast that, but then Nars then remember them having Narset also. Here we go. Meditate and prepare. Alright, taking the Sarkin because we would be able to play Sarkin, tick up, and kill one of their walkers. And we have two Ravagers. Narset's shutting down Teferi's minus three from drawing a card. They didn't draw an extra card. They so they activated their Nar set to get a second card there, which act, activating Nar set is just putting a card into your hand. It's not technically drawing. So that's how they got the second card there that previous turn. All right, two and one. All right, pretty decent. Whole bunch of lands with good mana. The one, the one bad part is we do have a lot of blue red lands, and so uh, we don't have enough black mana for the dragon god right now. That's the one bad part about this hand. Hmm. 
All right, we're just getting rid of this. We have just we just have two other like even though that card is really really strong, we just have two other cards that cost five mana. Already, I just don't want a third card that costs five mana in my hand. And of course, in in order to cast Dragon God, we need the other black source, but we don't really need to keep another land on top when we already have five. So just ditching them. Still don't have another black source. We'll kind of help keep our battlefield clear a little bit. I think they usually put them in in backwards order from what they would have drawn. So I think they would have drawn Nyssa and then Hinterland Harbor and, and so on, I think. No, I'm not, I'm not sure about that, but I think that's what would have happened. Your corpse will make an excellent minion. What a good mindless minion. I mean, we have we have wonderful targets in our own deck for like they're playing dread horde like you know we have we also just have wonderful targets for like their dread hordes to hit also my minusing Liliana Effective. Eric, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. What Welcome to the channel. You thank you, Eric. Are you ready? <sighs> Don't flatter yourself. I am exhausted. We want to get that out of here so our Ascanta doesn't die. And we need to start it after this now, you know, we need to start attacking them for eight a turn, pressuring their life total, certainly. And they're still two mana away from Command the Dread Horde. But we need to make it so they don't get a whole lot of stuff back because they don't have the ma the life to. Uh, no, Saxman. I like Grixis Control more, but this is a donation deck. Yeah, these are donation decks that that uh, pe people donate to see on stream. I will, I will consume you. Uh, you are bold. I'm finding use for you. Land, land, land. We have four. Right. 
demands power. This looks like a fun new toy. Oh, thank you so much, Eric. I've been watching you for a while. I really like the deck you play. I use them for arena and paper magic. You have the code content. Oh, thank you very much. Cheers. Minus four to defend Sarkin. We have an well. We have another Sarkin. If we minus four Liliana, then we don't have Liliana ultimate next turn. This way we have, by ticking up Liliana, we have, we're have we threatening Liliana ultimate, so they have to deal with that. Plus, then they have to deal with Sarkin. Um, so, yeah, I was, I was going up, because that put us to, to nine. Um, but right there, we're, we're choosing between another Liliana and an Ugin. And... I went with the the Liliana over the Ugin, uh, thinking, I don't know, it's close. Uh, yeah. Basically, maybe, maybe I should have just gone with the Ugin, I don't know. Uh, I did, like, the ability, if they, you know, if they did a little bit of damage to Liliana, like, where we could, like, Liliana minus twice in a row, you know, like, minus, minus play the other one, minus again kind of thing, clear up a big battlefield. I don't know. Anyway, we're playing Sultai Command. So Nissa. Definitely want these ritual episodes. Nissa and Command the Dread Horde are like the two cards that I'm worried about. Do I want to unmoor to ego them? Don't really want Narset too much. I think Narset's just going to die to explore creatures. I'm not going to be able to protect it. Play one Ego over a Narset. Hey, Moose. Yeah. Um, my favorite deck in the metagame... Yeah, maybe Selesnya or maybe maybe Bant. I don't know. I just play so many different decks all the time. I don't really have like a specific favorite. I wouldn't say. Um, recently, I really like the, the Bant Arc Bow list that I put up right before the MCQ. I like that list a lot. We'll probably be playing that tomorrow. But yeah, I understand. I, I miss a lot of those really cool green-white cards in Modern too. Had a lot of fun with that deck. I get these three twos out here before they kill me. Hey, Libra. Glad, glad you're liking the YouTube videos over there. You. Yeah, I like the current event. The Momir. I think it's pretty fun. Hmm. Certainly ditching this. Do I want to keep this? So I'm playing my fourth land this turn. Next turn, a fifth land... Yeah, we're going to keep it. Hoping we draw something to do with our five mana next turn, like a Nickel Bolas Dragon God, for example. What's about to happen. Would be nice, a Ritual of Soot. I want to kind of save this Elder Spell until after Liliana. To the library. Well, now I'm just going to be... Now we're just casting this thing. 
I have Don't learned be little here. If we meet again. It's a radical guru. I've lost so <laughs> I've seen worse. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Eddie. All right, Liliana time. Gain this life. A poor ass Cantas are just getting wrecked. Vraska's and Vivian's. Effective. Come to me. <clears throat> Question is: Before investing in modern, is it better to see what Modern Horizons does to change the format? And yeah, that's that's certainly really reasonable. Yeah, that's that's definitely reasonable to just see what what's going on with the format first before investing in it. Absolutely, I'm not expecting like a huge shakeup or anything, but something's probably going to change with it. The other long, part of that, though, is modern is the kind of format where you usually keep your deck for a long period of time, My and thoughtfulness before action. you'll want a deck that you just really enjoy and everything. If you're just trying to get, like, one deck, trying to get, like, the, the best deck in modern, it, that changes a lot, you know? Just, you know, it's cyclical. The you know, one deck will be good for a while, shield. then it'll be in a bad position and then it'll be in a good position again later on then it'll be in a bad position you know things kind of go in cycles like that so basically you you want to be investing in some kind of deck that you really enjoy and cards that you like and, and everything more than what's like the best thing in the format hone your prowess Hmm. Unfortunately, this Elder Spell is just going to wreck me. Yeah, Eric, I used to. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Previously. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I, I took a, a weekend off for the most part. But I'm back at it. Good help is easy to find in war. So this is really unfortunate that I have to throw the Ugin away. Not bad. But I just have to, because if I don't, then they Elder Spell away my, my two Planeswalkers and Ultimate Vivian, so I just have to throw it away. And so then on this battlefield, as you can tell, I think I took the Liliana over the Bolas. I'm not I wasn't sure which, which way to go there. Like, Bolas would kill the Krasis, but then die. Rise and shine. This can maybe get us a little bit more value than that. Maybe. I see. I will protect the virtue of this world. If they ban looting, will the Phoenix deck be dead? I'm not sure about dead. It would hurt the deck a ton. Certainly. 
but I'm not sure about dead. There's a lot of cards in modern, a lot of really good cards, and adapting is... Like, decks can adapt and everything. Maybe yeah, I should just grab, grab the bolus. We're definitely looking for Ritual of Soot right about now. Ritual of Soot, please. And realize I'm not saying that they should and or will ban Faithless Looting. I was just answering the question of if Faithless Looting was banned. The land shall conquer you. <clears throat> well, it's looking bad for us. It's not... We're not, like, dead. Right now. Well, it doesn't look good for us. We have a little bit of a chance, I, I suppose. I hope they just attack with everything. Like, just actual everything. Love to just kill these land elves for free. This is a tough attacking spot for them. Interesting. So if I take this, I go to eight. So I'm, I'm pretty dead, but not all the way dead. I summon you. But if they if they draw anything this next turn, I'm dead. Going down to like two. So 
So I need to kill their, their jellyfish. So I can do that in a lot of different ways. I can grab Vivian. I can grab Tamio. Could also just minus three bolus instead of minus four bolus. But I think I think diversifying the threats over here is the good thing to do. Um, we can also grab Ugin. Um, Vivian's the thing that has the most loyalty after it minuses with two. But Vivian's tick up is not super valuable. I think having the most loyalty and not just dying to one single Llanowar Elf, dying two Llanowar Elves. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. That can't help. We're going to take it. Not dead yet. Oh, well, they can't They can't really attack with Llanowar Elves anyway. Right. So maybe I should just grab Dugan. Crap. Oh no, not another Nyssa. Well that's Together, that's lethal. We will See, if Behold, if they had something like that, it was gonna be lethal. And that'll do it. We can block one, take nine, we're at eight. I just was hoping they didn't have something like that. Need more more of these ritual upsets. Maybe I should be boarding out Ascanta. My Ascantas keep getting eaten up. All right, that was that was a good game though. A real good game there. Let's see if we get game three. I will take our hand. Having this card in hit, I'll take it. So we get to save rampage. We don't need to use rampage right away because we can save it uh, for a planeswalker with us having soot. Love having Kefnet and Nigobolus Ravager it gives us things to play to force our opponent to continue to play more cards into our ritual of set. Said restaurant. Ah, not again. If only Rampage was an instant. Hmm. Balance comes.
Command the Dreadhorde. So they have Let's see what else they got. More Elder Spells, Nissa's, Krasis, Tamio. How many other Vivians? One. So one Nissa, one, two Nissa, two Tamio. One Vivian. Let's do this again. I forgot to check graveyard. Yeah, they, they don't have one in the graveyard. It's going to definitely make it easier for them not having that command the dread horde that just, you know, can pull so far ahead and everything. With them playing elder spells is like their main interaction, having creatures. It's like the new thing to do. There we go. <clears throat> We're going to be able to shut them down. They knew about the Ritual of Soot in hand. We can keep, you know, like the Nissas aren't going to really do anything with the Ritual of Soot. And my flying creatures. Yeah, getting rid of Command the Dread Horde was critical. Glad we had that Unmoored Ego there. All right, we are 3-1 and one with the Grixis League. Moving on. GG's. Yeah, that was a real powerful turn. That was a good one. Yeah, I felt like Enter the God Eternals is a little slow in this matchup. And how we've seen them have... We saw them have, like, Little Vraska and Hostage Taker, which I guess they boarded out Hostage Taker, but they had both of those, like, that really easily answered the token. Um, Wild Growth Walker can, of course, get bigger than the token. And how I was, like, wanting... Same with, like, Krasis and everything. And how I was bringing in Ritual of Sits. Ritual of Sits doesn't play super well with Enter the God Eternals. Basically, I thought we had enough five mana cards. There didn't... And didn't need it. Um, no, I don't really miss playing MTGO. I think that playing uh, Arena is more enjoyable than playing MTGO. What did we play against for the Angels deck? I know we, we played against Esper Hero twice. I certainly remember that. I didn't want to hell to lose to you. All things begin and um, end in nature. We played against Mono White. Well, like Mono White Splash Blue. We played against Simic Yoink. It's a better chance that Discovery hits a land than just the very next card being a land. Tear it down! Tear it all down! So didn't play a land. They got all spells over there.
Hey, RMW Waffle. Thanks for that sub there. You are amazing. Thank you so much, Waffle. And that's sub number nine of the day. We are only one subscriber away from a sub goal there where we will crack a pack open. All right, so we got rid of a Jade Light and a trophy. They just didn't Stretch play. Now. Oh, right. Hard. They couldn't play Jade Light. Didn't have the mana too. Four in the graveyard. Let's go ahead and put another one in the graveyard. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. I was just, you know, even though the interplanar beacon was not a bad card to draw, I just wanted to get keep filling the graveyard to try to flip Ascanta early. You have no weakness that I cannot Hey, exploit. Bobby. Thanks for that reset. So now that is that sub goal number 19 out of 20. So now we are only one sub goal away from, yeah, from hashtag team chat uh, and the sub battle stream. All right, let's get these ritual sets in here. I think same thing we just kind of did. I don't know for sure if our opponents would command the Dreadhorde deck with them having Nyssa. And not sure if... I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna keep one Enter the God Eternals in. Let's just do that. That's not knowing our opponent's deck as much. <laughs> so we're only one sub goal left to schedule that next sub battle stream. It's always a lot of fun. If y'all don't know what a sub battle stream is, that's where I take an entire day of streaming and play subscribers, play against subscribers all day. Uh, I have a, I put all the decks that I have like in the account up on a, a wheel and spin it to see what deck I'm playing each round. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, this deck's been performing pretty well for us. A lot of Grixis walkers. Now. All right, where is Ritual of Soot? It's hard to be a genius surrounded by the fault is not. So if I if I play Narset there looking for Ritual of Soot and I find it, that that was like gonna be my plan this turn, but since they have the duress, they would just duress away my Ritual of Soot. And that wouldn't work too well. So I guess I'm throwing this Dovin out here. To slow them down a little bit. Sub battles again soon. Um not not quite yet. We we just got uh sub goal number 19 just since the last time. So one more sub goal. So whether we hit that today, whether we hit that tomorrow, and then we'll schedule the next sub battle stream. And I guess it'll probably be this weekend. For the most part, people have really liked Saturdays for those cuz people usually have Saturdays more free, so if I think likely best, we're looking at like Saturday. For that. Serm with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Serm. Welcome. Oh, you're going to be at a wedding this Saturday? The thing is, is we have done the last few we have done Saturdays, and so some people 
can't really do Saturdays also, so maybe we should pick a different day so it's not just Saturday all the time. I will aid you. The land fights for us. I would like Angrass Rampage, please. Those who cannot just keep an open mind. Uh, I guess discovery. Looking for a ritual set. <laughs> I don't need Angrass Rampage anymore. If I just have. No, that's not gonna be good enough. Let's keep this, though, as a two-mana answer to Nyssa. Deserex with the Tier 1 sub. Welcome I'm to the channel. I'm equipped to deal with nuisances like you. That gets us to 12. Sweet, clean subscribers today. I must train harder. Oh, Elder Spell Ultimate Nissa. It's unfortunate. Oh, that's true. If I left Angrath on top, then we could have copied it with Kefnet. That's a good. That's a good call. I didn't even consider that, but the, yeah, that's a a good call. Uh, would have shocked in for like another copy, but. Rise, my elemental friend. Actually, I should I should have just got rid of Angrath's rampage because, well, like my the plan was like we rampage plus like either our draw step or whatever we find with Narsa we get to double spell. Hmm, we're pretty dead now though. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I need to keep it on top. If I keep it on top, no, that doesn't save us because we'd have to shock in to cast the other version. We're going to go to... If I would have just kept the Interplanar Beacon, maybe? Yeah, I guess if I would have kept Interplanar Beacon, I would still be at one. When you understand reality, I be gone, interloper. Could have kept the, that second interplanar beacon to play here to go to six, where then I can block Wild Growth Walker and not die. All right, Storm. Have a good night. Hmm. 
Now let's see, what do I want? I guess I'd still just play those. I'm gonna just keep it the same. I was thinking about like maybe making the deck a little bit better against Elder Spell. And like having some negates in here. With their spells gonna like being some of like the more important things, but Oh well. I believe the event is until Thursday for the Momir event. Cause that's when it, it started was Thursday, and I think they're just they're all a week long. I think it's you know, there'll be some different sections. So I think each one's a week. I did, Koala Bear. Uh, we went 4-2. I started off 4-0, and it was looking good, but then I lost the last two rounds. And so didn't... Uh, then lost two in a row, so I did not qualify for the second day. I haven't seen Command the Dreadhorde at all, but this this really seems like this is a Command the Dreadhorde deck. Is expendable, except me. Spark will be mine. Defiances infuriate my schemes are never ending. Could be Citadel, that's true. Citadel with Path of Discovery makes a lot of sense. So I'm pressuring that's why I'm I'm attacking them. I'm gonna try to pressure their life total if it is a dread horde deck. See if you're worthy. For the fallen. Its loss will us. Some good game is Many six mana planeswalkers over here. There's a land. Frisky biscuits in ghost fire. 
Hype for the new Cat Lord in Modern. That card is sweet. Give all your cats plus... Uh, plus two, plus one. That one is sweet. I like that card. <laughs> Random typing. That's all good. That's... <clears throat> Never a bad timing for random hype. For sure. Alright, well, we're, we're not a very good Kefnet deck, but Kefnet has just been awesome for us. Of course. Everything is power, and I am everything. Ethan itself serves me. We begin! Look to the skies. All right, and we are four and one. Get in that game three there. All right, Grixis League is going on to the final boss. Here we go. Let's get this final boss playlist. There we go. Get these final boss emotes. It is the boss time. Yes, this is talking about... The, that's referring to these are being donation decks. So these are decks that that viewers built and donated to and submitted for me to play. All right, looking good. Keep this. Hello. Mono blue for the final boss. Boss blue. Boss blue. And after this league and everything, I'll go ahead and do an arena reset. I haven't done one of those in five hours or so. <laughs> Mono bloss. Bloss. Definitely a lot easier to beat Mono Blue when they don't have. Take both of these. Do I want this dove in? Yeah, sure, we'll take it. It's definitely easier on us whenever they don't have Curious Obsession. You know, they you know, so they down to four cards in hand. We can just take some damage from little one ones. Or one one and a two two. As long as there's no Curious obsession to keep refilling the hand. They'll run out of counter spells eventually. There's no accounting for luck. Maybe yours will hold. Oh, I should play the beacon first, obviously. Cool. Make that trade. Yeah, definitely should have just played the beacon first. Could have been at sixteen. We'll see if we'll see if we die by exactly one life point. A solid hit. <laughs> uh, that card's a little embarrassing. Hmm. 
So we'll have them spend mana on their turn. Just this two is a cards rare left. I'm not often wrong. I think I like I think I like Ravager more than Dragon God. Because why I had that timing there. And plus if I would draw a sixth mana, I'd be able to like rampage plus Ravager. So why would you tap those two? Lands. I mean, I do want a six land, but we'll probably find a six land. Hey, MTG Mama. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Sub number 13 on the day. You are a rock star. Thank you. All right, graveyard transform. Resolve. Essence capture. All right, we're down to five. Well, moment of truth. Yeah. Uh, the retort, and then the Terramander adapts and kills us. Dang. We did not run them out of counter spells. I thought we would eventually get into that Liliana. I thought, thought maybe we could with them not having Curious Obsession, but we did not. So we need more Soot, more Moment of Craving, more Duress, more Negate, less Elder Spell, less... Enter the God Eternals. Less Ugin. Sixty-six. <laughs> Unmoored the Wizard Retort. Nah. Uh, Dovin can go. These things. I need to trim down on on these. Uh, more expensive cards. One Bolus, one Liliana. One Ascanta. And this other Elder Spell I guess I missed. Yeah, Dovin's not bad. As we saw like that game though, like it's just kind of a speed bump. And they had plenty of you know, if they're if they're already ahead on battlefield, Dovin doesn't help us catch up, basically. Dovin can just slow them down for a little bit, but that's that's it. Doesn't really trade with anything. The best non aggro deck. We just had two mana. We just had two mana. Ugh. No black mana. I'll try this though, with the scry. Where we at least have a negate for a uh, for a curious obsession. At the worst. Uh 
Um, best non-aggro deck. I think probably either four color dread horde or even Sultai dread horde, one of those two, or Esper hero. Probably looking at one of those. Hey, Zerf. Why not Kasmina? Kasmina in this matchup, Kasmina just makes some creatures on the ground and their creatures are in the air. <laughs> you just saw a spider on the bed. Yay, no counter spell. So I think Kefnet's probably better than Nicol Bolas, and so I went with, Kef, you know, going with the worst of the two. I mean, they're both good, but I really wanted Kefnet to resolve kind of thing. Out of the two, but we'll keep them from attacking. They can sit back, hit some land drops. Work on flipping this Nicol Bolas the Ravager. So yeah, I could Kefnet with Negate. But I just don't really need to. Alright, I'll play that thing. Hey, result. The focused and disciplined. I think if they countered that Narset, I don't. I don't think I was actually going to do anything about it if they would have countered it. Mm. Not the black source we need. Meditate. And prepare. Spell Piers. Striker, welcome back. Being on that two month streak here. It's really possible I should have been attacking like this whole time, trading four damage for two damage. Obviously, we win the race four to two, but just never know whenever that turns around. The later the game goes, the better for us. And so, just not attacking it, all it's going to do is prolong the game, and that's better for us in general. <laughs> yeah, the MC the MCQ went really well. Uh it didn't day two, but it was still we had a lot of fun, started off strong. Start off 4-0 before losing a couple in a row <clears throat> to get eliminated, but we had a lot of fun with it. And enjoyed it. I'll have to try to get back to top 1,000 because uh, a couple of days ago, like last Thursday, I guess it was, we had that losing streak uh, that really knocked me, that we started the day at like 100 and ended the day at like 94% because of that huge losing streak, so... We're gonna need to gonna need to work my way back up there. All right, well, we got the curious obsession out of there.
They just have a fist full of counter magic over there. What do you get if you if we would have won the MCQ? Well, that's it's a Mythic Championship qualifier, so you would qualify for the Mythic Championship. really nice. Let's go in Discovery, look for another land. Getting greedy here. Oh no, getting greedy. Those aren't lands. Ooh, got there. Because the wizard's retort wasn't turned on, you know, like they didn't have a wizard, so it was just that was a three mana counter spell. And with them sitting at four mana, we don't need to play one of these and let them cast their three mana counter spell without having three mana. So next turn, either we draw a spell, and maybe we can double spell with Nicol Bolas, or we draw another land, and then we can play both Nicol Boluses. But they are kind of in trouble, because we have this 4-5 here. They kind of need to find tricksters to keep me from hitting them. Or just, like, a Tempest Gen, something like that, like, just even just chump blockers also. That's a great one. Do they have Trickster? Oh no, oh they should have Trickstered. If they would've just Trickster during upkeep, then I wouldn't have got that extra trigger there. If that was their plan to Trickster anyway. But obviously now we get to just resolve the Ravager and now we have eight power in the air. Okay, okay. Kasmina's got us there. Kasmina's transmutation. So they may have like another wizard's retort. Basically the main reason why I'm doing this is because they could have another wizard's retort. And I don't want another wizard's retort to be turned on. Loses all abilities, right? Yeah.
But it did have another wizard retort. Aggressive line. We have a blue fog. No blue fog. And that'll do it. Five and one. Getting that five win. Grixis League. All right, get our 2100 gold. GG's. And for getting a five win league, let's crack a pack. Since we had these extra packs. Awakening of Vitu Gazi. Not bad, not bad. And I didn't I didn't crack one for the 10, 10 subs on the day either. Feel bad for that. So let's crack another one. All right, deliver unto evil. That's a Grixis card right there, if I've ever seen one. So our Grixis League worked out pretty well, I have to say. Um, <clears throat> Discovery was good for us. We were talking about earlier about maybe replacing Discovery, but Discovery was definitely very good for us. The thing is, is though, we need to have Thought Erasures in our deck. Just not having Thought Erasures is just not... That's just not uh, something that we can have. We gotta have thought erasures. Um, that's the one one thing about this deck. So, so where are we fitting in four thought erasures? Not exactly sure, but we're definitely fitting in four thought erasures. I think that's that's something that's just a a must have. Like, so one of the Escantas can go. Dovin was not really particularly good. Or like, just not anything that we really needed that much. I think you can get rid of Dovin. And then maybe, since we have Thought Ragers, maybe get rid of one of the Discoveries. Maybe just do that. The other thing is, of course, you don't really need four six-mana Planeswalkers. You don't really need two Lilianas and two Ugans. But Lilianas and Ugans are, were awesome for us. They're just so powerful. Like, those cards are just really, really good. Um, another thing is the sideboard needs another Ritual of Soot. Uh, I don't love Negate these days. I would cut one of the Negates for another Ritual of Soot. Or just put a Ritual of Soot in the main. Um, but if we want to keep, like, these kind of... All these, like, Planeswalkers and stuff... Probably put in a ritual of set there. Uh, that's a really important card these days. But yeah, there's a couple of quick changes to make there. Uh, but yeah, like Thought Erasure is just a, it's, it's just too strong not to play. <laughs> um, question here is: Are Shocklands essential in most standard decks? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, Shocklands are really, really nice to have. Um, yeah, they're great. Uh, speaking of Shocklands, also mana base wise with our deck here, one thing that I noticed is we were, we were kind of struggling on black mana for Nicol Bolas quite a bit. And we have like Elder Spells, just black. This deck needs like mana base wise, like there's no reason not to have four Watery Grave. That needs to be a thing. It needs to have four, four Watery Grave, four Drowned Catacomb. Um, get those blue black lands in there. Uh, we don't need red that much. Sarkin can get help. Help that can get uh, cast by the interplanar beacon. I'd put both of those in there, and cut a sulfur falls. And um, a summit. I'll just get blue black lands. That only added one black source. 
I guess. I don't know if we really need Basic Island. And the fact, actually, you, you don't. We don't need Basic Island. It's going to be a pretty bad land for us. You can get another blue source with another Sulphur Falls back there. And I would play all Blood Crypts before Dragon Skull Summits also. I think getting all the the shock lands is is pretty necessary because having like the hands like where you just have all the all the check lands is pretty rough um but interplanar beacon kind of helps with that also so that's that's the uh that's something with a mana base that i would recommend changing <clears throat> but there we go all right that's the grixis league so if you are watching this video later on, uh, is there a way to get a deck list after the edits? Um, not really. I guess just go like just have the regular deck list and just change those things from the regular deck list. Uh, but that's it. Um, I because I'm gonna post the deck list. I'm gonna post in the YouTube video is gonna be the deck list that we played during the video. So that's in there. Uh, but. We only changed, we just added in Thought Erasures and added in one Ritual of Soot over in a gate and then just changed the mana base a little bit. So it wasn't it wasn't really that too big of a change, but, um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dovin's now a, kind of a bad cover pick. That is true. We'll have Liliana. There we go. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hey, thanks, Lord Kano. Uh, one, thank you so much for watching, and hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But that's it for the Grixis League, and I will see you for...